So how long people watch your video is known as audience retention. And this is an important analytic that YouTube looks at to consider if your content is worth suggesting to other viewers or ranking in search. The goal is to get the viewer to watch as much of your video as possible. And having a solid video structure and script will help you achieve this. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the five major plot points to a successful YouTube video structure and script. The most effective way to keep a viewer's attention is to tell a great story and all great stories have a similar structure. We learn about a hero who runs into some conflict and goes on a quest or journey to overcome it. The story reaches a climactic moment where the hero overcomes the conflict. At the end, the viewer is left with a feeling or maybe even an idea that they want to take action on because of what they took away from the story. The first major plot point of a great story is going to be a strong hook. This is where you catch the viewer's attention and introduce the conflict or create some sort of desire. In this video, I talked about the importance of audience retention and what can happen if people don't watch your videos all the way through. YouTube will think that it sucks and it won't recommend it and you'll fail as a content creator. This hook doesn't always have to be something negative or dramatic though. For example, I make cooking content and the hook to my recipe videos are as simple as explaining the dish that I'll be cooking and preparing the viewer for what to expect to learn and the desire to pull it off themselves. One good way to make a hook stronger is to lay over some B-roll to give them a visual idea of what's to come later in the video. After the viewer's hook, the next plot point is going to be the journey. And this is where you deliver your content or the information to the viewer. For my cooking content, this is where I would tell the viewer what the ingredients are and then go into the steps they need to take to prepare the dish. I try and clearly explain my content in a chronological order as efficiently as possible. I think a good general rule to follow is to make your video as short as possible, but take as much time as you need to clearly explain the process without repeating yourself twice. It's best to write out your talking points or a complete script so that you're not rambling or missing any important steps in your message. I write out my scripts completely and I read it word for word off of a teleprompter. I notice when I do any of my content off the cuff or using just talking points, I spend way more time recording because I'm stopping to think about what I wanted to say and how I want to say it. I'll also have to restate my talking points a number of times because I'm tripping up over my words. Writing out a script does take a little time on the front end of video production, but it helps me cut back on my filming and editing time because I don't have to sift through all that extra footage of me rambling. The next major plot point is known as the climax. This is the answer or the solution to the conflict of the story. In a cooking video, it just might be showing the finished dish being plated and some final shots of a plated dish. However, the climax doesn't necessarily mean it's the end of the video. Hang out towards the end of this video and I'll give you five more tips to a successful script and one easy way to make more income from your YouTube video. The next major plot point is known as the falling action. This is where you might add any supportive information to better help the viewer. You can address some common mistakes and problems that might happen or give some extra tips to help make the process easier. And that will take us into the last part of the story, which is the resolution and or call to action. This is where you give the viewer the main action or idea that you want them to leave with. When it comes to YouTube, you might want to direct them to another one of your videos that might complement the one that they just finished watching. Your videos don't always have to end with a direct call to action. It could also end with an idea. For example, my cooking videos could end with giving the viewer the idea that cooking doesn't have to be difficult. I'm not a professionally trained chef and all it takes is a little bit of practice to be able to execute a delicious meal for your family and friends. You just have to give it a try. And like I promised earlier, here are five tips or things to consider when writing your scripts. Number one is to create a second hook. Somewhere towards the end of the journey part of the script and right before the climax, create a second hook to entice the viewer to stick around till the end. In this video, I mentioned that I had five more tips to share, as well as one way to make more income with your YouTube videos. In a cooking video, I might say something like, stick around to the end of this video where I'll share a tips on how to freeze, reheat, 
or even repurpose this recipe for leftovers. Normally, the second hook is addressed in the falling action part of your script. Number two is to speak to the camera as if you're talking to one individual person. I do this by saying words like you instead of you guys or what's up everyone. Putting videos online do reach a lot of people, but by saying you, it creates the feeling that your content was made for the viewer and you are speaking directly to that person who is watching it. So number three is can you link your video to another one of your videos? One of the best ways to keep a viewer on your channel and convert them into a possible subscriber is to get them to watch more than one of your videos. When you write your scripts, think about if any of the talking points that you mention are linked to a related video that you made in the past or plan to make in the future. This is the major reason why it's important to try and plan your content ahead of time so that you can consider ways to link your videos together. I have a whole nother video on how I plan my YouTube content schedule and the app that I use to organize and write my scripts. I'll be sure to put a link in the description. See what I did there? Number four is to mention a product. In all of my cooking videos, I try and mention a product or a tool that I enjoy using. That way the viewer can find an affiliate link in the description of my video. Affiliate links are a great way to bring income in, especially if you don't qualify to monetize your YouTube channel's views yet. And tip number five is to get out of your video as quickly as possible. What I mean by this is don't give the viewer the idea that they got all of the information that they needed out of the video by saying something like, well, that's it for this video. And then continue to talk for another two to three minutes about something else. You want to end the video once you reach the end of the resolution and gave your call to action. And with that being said, I hope that I gave you some ideas on how to create a story-driven script that brings your videos and channel success in the future. If you found value in this video, be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one. Aloha.